Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you.
Christ lift your hand and give the Lord. the Lord the praise. Praise the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to ask our mother just to take us to the throne of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You could just walk your way up here. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. the first time glory to God yes. father remember those that are coming in yes. those that are weak Hallelujah. those that are lonely oh, father Jesus. God Jesus. those that need the Holy Ghost father God tonight Lord God open Thank up you, windows Hallelujah. open doors Jesus. dear God souls that in need Father God, as, as they enter the door, God Almighty, you know what they need. Father God, we are here tonight for no other reason but to lift up your name. Father God Almighty, we need to hear from you tonight. Oh, merciful, glory to God. Glory to God. As we lift up the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We honor you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Dear God, there's nothing we can do but just worship your name. Just lift up your name. Oh, God, just lift up your name. Continue tonight. Bless the speaker tonight. Oh, merciful Father. Dear God, anoint the lips. Oh, God Almighty, we thank you. Lord God, we honor you, Jesus. There are no other words why we are here, but just to lift up your name. Bless this rest of this service. Oh, God Almighty, continue to work. Continue to do your work. Father God, glory is the God of thine own way, Jesus. Bless the speaker again, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, those that are coming, Father God, hasten their step, Lord. Yes, Father God, you see and you know. Hallelujah. We say thanks in Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together
Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to turn our Pentecostal hymn now. Praise the Lord if you have one. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord to us. 250 for the Pentecostal hymn now. Living by faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 250 for the Pentecostal hymn now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I care not today what the morrow may bring, if shine, 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 a ring. Oh, the Lord.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord Jesus. Our Lord. Hallelujah. Will return to this earth someday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our troubles will be home. Hallelujah. Glory to the master will lead us away over beyond the blessed shore. Hallelujah. I am living by faith. I believe that tonight, hallelujah, that the master will come and he will lead us away. Hallelujah. So you must live by faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What a consolation. Hallelujah. What a promise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am waiting for that day. I don't know about you, but this world that we are living in is a troublesome world. Hallelujah. But I'm waiting for that day. That my Lord will lead us away. Glory to God. What a day that will be. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us live by faith, brethren. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Our topic is keep the faith to finish the course. Hallelujah. Keep the faith to finish your course. Hallelujah. It is an individual thing right now. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone will have to keep their faith. Everyone will have to run this race. To finish the line. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, there is a, a crown awaiting you. There is a prize. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us keep the faith, brethren, and finish our course. Praise the Lord. Turn your Bible with me to Satan Timothy 4. I read from verse 1 through to verse 8. Praise the Lord. And Ephesians 4 and verse 13. Praise the Lord. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through to verse 8. We will stand and read alternately. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you find it, just stand on your feet. Praise the Lord. 2 Timothy 4. Two, um, two, Second Timothy 4, 1 to 8. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just stand on your feet. Let us reverence the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you find it, just say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. And thus read, I charge thee, therefore, brethren, before God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at the appearance of his kingdom. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own loss shall they heap to themselves teachers of in itchy ears. But watch there in all things, endure affliction, do the work as evangelists, make full proof of their ministry. Praise the Lord. Everybody, henceforth, they are laid up for me. Oh, verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, they are laid up a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, thy righteousness,
righteous judge shall give to me at the day. Amen. But uh, to love. Praise the Lord. To hold that love is appearance. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. To hold that love is appearance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 13. And I will just read that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 4, 13. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God and to perfect men and to measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want all the ministers, the pastor, just to come and have a seat up here on the restaurant. Praise the Lord. All the pastors, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. All the pastors, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's 
miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle. He's a miracle. Hallelujah. He's a miracle. Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. He is a wonder. I said he is a wonder. He is a wonder. We cannot fathom him. Hallelujah. He is a wonder. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Jesus. We're happy to have you all. Praise the Lord. In our men and women's meeting, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is going to be the first time we're going to ever combine our women and men meeting together. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. But God, hallelujah. Know what he is doing. Praise the Lord. We cannot fathom God. He, he think over us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we are trying to think, God is thinking away of us. Praise the Lord. So tonight, we are here to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope there is no spectator in the house. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope there is worshiper in the house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because if you worship God tonight, you, what problem you have, you, you're going to leave it here. You're going to go back home rejoicing. Hallelujah. God said you must lift him up. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Cast your cares upon him. Because he cares for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we are here tonight to worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Have so much of our ministers from far and near here tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Last night we have a wonderful night in the house. Praise the Lord Jesus. And tonight we are going to be worshiping God the same way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope you come with your worship shoes. I come, you hope come with your worship mind. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because we are here to worship the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time I'm going to call Evangelist Whiteborn just to come up and greet the church. Greet the brethren and welcome them in Jesus name. Praise, Praise the name. Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm going to put on my gospel shoes. I'm going to never have a look on you. I am wearing the breastplate of the of righteousness. I'm going to put on my gospel shoes. I never, never have a look on you.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, God's children. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise the Lord, God's children. Amen. I can go back to my seat now. Praise the Lord. You know, one time I came to church and um, things were a little cold. And when I figured out the bottom of the door was off, praise the Lord. So I pulled out my socks that I bring in my bag and I said, it's not time to look cute. And tonight it's not time to look cute. And my reason for saying that, somebody here tonight is really sick. And that person needs to leave here really well. Praise the Lord. So I'm not going to look cute tonight. Because we are not keeping church. We came from our houses that chains will be break. Sick will be healed. Demons will be cast out. Else we can't take off our cuteness right now. Praise the Lord Jesus. We need to stop, keep church. We need to allow the souls of men to be saved. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hell is getting double hot. The world is turning upside down. So we're not going to be cute tonight. Praise the Lord Jesus. Anybody have any socks in their bags and their feet are cold? Take them out now. All right. Hallelujah. I want to greet everyone tonight in the mighty saving name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to sit comfortable, stand comfortable too, and worship God tonight. Praise the Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Something is bothering me from I came in here tonight. You heard how the song was marching. We got to learn what's going on. We have to learn what's going on. We have to learn what's going on. In the name of Jesus, I'm not going to read out the churches one by one because I don't have a list with me right now. Praise the Lord. So I think somebody else might be assigned to do that. Praise the Lord, but I am here to greet everyone in the mighty, saving name of Jesus. And I want to tell you, just plug yourself in the socket of God tonight. And dial in, hallelujah, that whatever you came here for, you will leave with it. Oh, praise the Lord. We don't have no time to play anymore. This church business is over. It's one church. One church. One Lord, one baptism, and we need God in our hearts and in our soul, and put to cuteness, and dial in. Oh, bless the Lord. I hope you all have a wonderful time tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Dialed in. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, evangelist. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't have a list of the churches that came in. Praise the Lord. But I would just recognize who I know. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Coming from Artford. Praise the Lord. Pastor Brown. Praise the Lord. And the brethren from Artford. Just stand up on your feet. Give the Lord a praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Coming from Artford again. Ella Harris. Bishop Harrison. Praise the Lord and Ella Dave and the saints, the brethren, stand up on your feet. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bridgeport. Sorry, my bad. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. From New Jersey, we have Ella Watson and Missionary Watson and the brethren that came with her. Stand up on your feet. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Also, we have our speaker tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ella Thompson. Praise the Lord. And the brethren, missionary Thompson from New Jersey. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Also, we have um, from our own neighborhood, praise the Lord. Ella Reed and the saint. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Think that Ella Gidmore, praise the Lord. Upon this rock. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Been a while, long time, but glad to have in the house. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Is there any other churches that I'm not recognizing? Praise the Lord. Is there visiting? Any visitors? Praise the Lord in the neighborhood. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Stand up on your feet, everybody, and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to have about 15 minutes of testimony. Praise the Lord. I want you just to know what the Lord has done for you. Praise the Lord. I know I don't see you from COVID start. Praise the Lord. But glad to see you all again in the house. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to know what the Lord has done for you. Praise the Lord. I'm going to call um, my sister-in-law. Minister Evans, praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. And Palmer, praise the Lord. And Missionary Thompson, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Missionary Thompson and Missionary um, Minister Palmer. Come testimony time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I need somebody to let me pray, Jesus. I need somebody to help me. I need somebody to pray the Lord. I need somebody to help me. From the time I walk into the house, I, I'm going to say from the time we park outside, praise the Lord, I could feel the presence of the Lord. And when the presence of the Lord is this rich, anything you need, hallelujah, it's right here. Hallelujah. And if we believe it tonight, something wonderful can happen in our midst. I want to greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. It's just good to be in the presence of the Lord with God's wonderful people. Testify in Jesus' name. Praise His name. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to be in Albany. 
And my reason for saying that because Pastor Brown is on my back all the time. Let's go to Albany. Let's go to Albany. So Pastor Brown, we are in Albany tonight. And thank God for that. Thank God because nothing happened before the time. And thank God that we make it here to, you know, give thanks and praise with you guys. And Albany, you will see us again. Pray for me, Lord. Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Another testimony for the Lord. Come on, jump up. We don't have all night. Jump up and give your testimony. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just have to give God thanks for his goodness and his mercy and what he's doing in my life and what he's continuing to do in my life. Our topic is keep the faith to finish the course. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the word said, faith is the substance. So without that substance, we cannot continue in the mighty name of Jesus. We cannot continue to, 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 keep, to finish the course. Without the faith, we cannot continue to keep the course. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, you know, um, Monday was my first day opening up my daycare center. And the week prior, the week prior, I've been through so much stuff mentally, like... So much pressure, so much things where give up. Like I was right there at the finish line and, and it was all giving up thoughts coming in my head. And because, you know, I'm going to be responsible for so many people and it, so much discouragement was just keeping, just popping up in my head. And, you know, without, without the faith, yeah. without faith, I, I'm, I probably, I don't even know where I would be Thank you, Jesus. without the faith of Jesus Christ in my life. Um, just continue to pray my strength in Jesus' Thank you, name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Go ahead, Brother Harris. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I am indeed happy to be here in the house today. Um, I give all um, credence to um, Pastor um, Bishop Higgins and... Um, uh, held uh, Palmer and all the rest of the staff. And I'm, I'm really happy because the Lord has done a wonderful thing for me. The Lord has waked me up this morning. The Lord has sent me on my way. And the Lord is taking me here to Albany in the house. And I'm worship. And I love the Lord so much because of what he's done for me. I didn't know that when this week started, when later on the weekend came on, I was feeling like I couldn't turn, when it's a duck off a nest, right? I can't, I can't do nothing. I couldn't do nothing. But now, I am strong. Hallelujah. I am strong in Hallelujah. Jesus. Because Jesus touched me one more time. Hallelujah. Brethren, pray my strength in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise his Hallelujah. name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bring it in my heart. Hannah, one prayer, me pray. Me pray in a night, tell me pray in a day. And every time we go from beneath, it's my job to run away. Yeah. Hannah, one prayer, me pray. Me pray in a night, tell me pray in a day. And every time we go from beneath,
From near and far. Thank you, Praise Jesus. the Lord Jesus. We are glad to be here tonight. Gather in his name to worship him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When all hell break loose around you, man, God keep the night watch. Amen. Praise the Lord. Forward still is Jehovah's will. Door the billows dash and spread. With a conquering tread, we'll push ahead and roll the sea away. Pray for me in Jesus' name. Then forward still, tis Jehovah's will. And though the pillars dash and spread, with a conquering tread, we will push ahead. Oh, and roll the 
God still. Yes. Teach Jehovah's will. Hallelujah. Is there any more testimony in the house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. God for journey mercy. Yeah. Tonight, Jesus, I have followed this songwriter said, In the rock, yeah. I hide. Hallelujah. In the shadow, I will abide. When the storms of life is raging over us, in the rock. Tonight, I am grateful. I am giving God thanks because that, that rock, I can put my, I can tear all my troubles. And I know. Deliver me yes. in the rock. Thank you, I can Jesus. I can tell him about my story. I can tell him when I can't tell nobody That's else. Right. I can Hallelujah. tell him and I know I will get comfort. Yes. I will find peace. Yes. I will find joy. Yes. And I am blessed tonight Hallelujah. for that rock, yes. which is Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. I can't do without him. I can't live without him. Thank he is my strength. He is my survivor. Yes. He is my protector. Hallelujah. He is my deliverer. Yes. He is my way of maker tonight. Hallelujah. And I am giving him thanks. And I am giving him all the glory and the praise tonight. Lord, I never know I would make it. I was in so much pain. And I said, uh-uh. The devil not going to hold me back. Because I, I know there is a blessing in here for me tonight. Tonight I come with my cup turn up. Yes. I come with my cup turn up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for life. Lord God, I give you thanks for the house pastor. I give you thanks for my pastor. I give you thanks for the journey that we have took. And you have, you have protected us, Lord God, to be here tonight. It is my first time on this spot of ground. But the Lord said, where one or two are gathered, and we are more than number. Amen. The, 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 I, I like the, the testimony Sister Marcia said, where she said, um, in the rock, Amen. I'll hide. And I know I've been hiding in that rock. I know he has been sheltered me from the storm. I know with his hand, he has covered me. Amen. I've been through so much, and I'm still here. Amen. So I have all right to give him praise tonight. My soul is already blessed. And so far, we're still waiting for the word. And I know I'm going to leave here not the same way I came. God is a good God. Every time, every time we open our mouth and say something about our Lord and Savior, you know that there is a trap set somewhere for us. So we just have to continue to praise him, to worship him, to honor him in all our beings. You pray my strength in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Mother Tomlinson, go ahead and testify. Mother, go ahead and testify. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise his love. Tonight I'm giving God thanks for his love. Giving thanks for his mercies, Lord God. I'm giving him thanks for all that he has done for me. You know, <clears throat> even standing here, I can pass and I fall. Yes. And I've changed my doctrine. But God always is on point. Amen. God has saved me. You know, I went to the doctor and realized I have an what will happen. But anyway, I, we have to wait and, and 
But one was so deep. It, it's like it was so hard to come out. I don't know what happened, but I think it takes like four hours in that operation room. And but when I think about it, when I remember the doctor said that one that was here, it was lying on a like broken card and, and it was cancerous. My mama saw it. But God, but God, but God, he keep me true. God has protected me. You know, even now, if sometimes the vice go and come, but I still give Thank God you, thanks. Hallelujah. I still, I still can lift up Thank the name you, of Jesus. Jesus. Because God has been good. He has been good. He's still keeping me together. And my aim and my desire is to continue. Get closer and closer to him daily. As I go along, you pray my strength. Jesus. Praise Thank the you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Tonight, I must agree with the psalmist David that says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord yes. for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. And tonight, I must give God thanks for mercy Hallelujah. that he has brought me from sin to righteousness. Hallelujah. And I'm on my way rejoicing yeah. in the free and full salvation. God bless you, saints. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My soul is resting in the presence of the Lord. I will be satisfied. God bless you. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. God bless everybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> I would like to sing a song. Um, I can only imagine. I can only imagine when that day comes when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what what I would do. Is your face? Is before me. I can only imagine when that day comes. When I walk by your side, I can only imagine. Surrounded by glory, what will my heart feel when I dance?
Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Missionary. Hallelujah. I am determined to hold out to the end. For Jesus is with me. Amen. On him I can depend. Praise the Lord. I know he's always with me. And I mean to go this journey until the end of my time. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. This is the final testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet my pastor in the mighty name of Jesus. And I greet all officers and saints. I'm so happy to be here. It's my first time in Albany. And so I'm coming on the bus, I said, how long am I going to get here? Where's the church? Am I in Albany already? And so I come at the door, I say, my heart is richly blessed already. Amen. I could, be, I could be home watching TV, but I choose to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. And I'm happy to be here. You pray my strength in Jesus' name. Praise Thank the you, Lord. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to give my testimony first. Praise the Lord. I have to give the Lord thanks for all that he has done for me. Um, the 20, 2022 has been a good year for me. Praise the Lord. Because I have learned to trust God. Not because, you know, wonderful things happen, but because I learned to trust God. I feel like, you know, when, when God is doing things in your life, it, it's, it's, we have to get to a place where we have to stop fighting and stop using our knowledge mm -hmm. and just letting God take, allow God to take control. And I feel like when you get to that place, when you, when you see a roadblock, you know it, it's, not, it's not the will of the Lord. And so you just let him take control. I don't know who this thought is for tonight. Stop fighting. Stop Stop, stop stressing yourself. You prayed about it. God heard your prayer. Just when he opened the door, go through the door. If he locked the door, don't get upset. Don't get upset. It's not for you. Hallelujah. Just lean and depend on Jesus. You have a father who answers prayer and know exactly what you need. Trust the process in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can we just magnify the name of the Lord? Can we just lift up the name of the Lord? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me just take the time to greet Elder Barnes, all the pastors and officers, brethren, my pastor and husband. Let me greet you, sir, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God has truly been a good God. Amen. God has truly been Hallelujah. a good God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm, I'm going to agree with Sister Sophia. 22 so far. 22 has been a good year. And so the beginning of 2023 has been a good year. And God has truly been good. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I, I'm just going to sum it up in this one little verse of this song just help me to sing this song i don't know about my throat because it goes and come and i have a thyroid issue that sometimes i can speak and sometimes i can't so i'm, I'm giving god thanks because i have a voice tonight <laughs> i'm giving god thanks because Amen. i have a voice tonight Amen. and the song say tis so sweet to trust in jesus just to take him at his words, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the said the Lord. so glad hallelujah i've learned to trust him check on my blessed jesus said your friend and i know the 
God, thou art with me. Will be with me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust in all oh, glory. How I prove you are and all. Hey, your mama, Saya, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, for grace to trust. tonight do you trust him tonight is he your savior hallelujah can you be a test that i will trust you more and more hallelujah 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 praise the lord jesus hallelujah 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 Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Without faith, you cannot trust Him. Without faith, you cannot trust Him. Hallelujah. Faith is thing hoped for. Evidence, things not seen. You must have faith. To trust him. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The time is going. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have some ministers that shove us on so far. Praise the Lord. I would just like them to come and greet the church. In short, praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I will just start off with Elder Gilmore. Praise the Lord. Just stand and give the Lord a praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. We give God honor, give him praise. Amen. It's a blessing to be here and to give. Amen. Honor to the angel of this house. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. My friend, Pastor Burns, amen, and his Barnes and his wife, amen, and the rest of the member of this, amen, church. Amen. 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 It, like, again, I would like to say this here when 
when the first lady got up and spoke early, mm -hmm. she said something that I've been saying, amen, for the last three to four weeks now. Mm -hmm. Sickness does not belong in your body. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And she said that if you're here tonight, yes. when you leave this place, oh, you should not leave the way you came in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is time for the body yes, of yes. believers Hallelujah. to prove the enemy wrong. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Stop laying down with your sickness. Hallelujah. Rise up and take that banner. Hallelujah. Cry out. Cry out. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw your saw the Lord. I saw your saw the Lord. He was high and lifted up on his prayer Oh, he was high and lifted up on the prayer temple. Oh, the angels cried, holy. Oh, the angels cried. Oh, the angels cried, holy to thy Lord. Oh, I died. Yes, oh, the Lord. I died. Yes, oh, the Lord. He was high and lifted up. I'm in prayer. I am lifted up on this brave in the temple. Oh, the angels cry, holy. Oh, the angels cry. Oh, the angels cry, holy to the Lord. Oh, I die. Yes, all the Lord. I die. Yes, all the Lord. I am lifted up and in prayer fill the temple. Oh, the angels cry holy. Oh, the angels cry holy. Oh, the angels cry holy to the Lord. Hallelujah! 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 Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord Jesus! The angel cried holy. I said the angel cried holy to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. At this time I'm going to hear from Ella Watson. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Evangelist Watson. In Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It took a miracle to hang the world in space. But when he saved my soul, cleanse and make me whole, it took a miracle. Of love and grace. Yes, it took a miracle to put the stars in place. It took a miracle to hang the world in space. But when he said, Hallelujah, hallelujah. It took a miracle, a miracle of I'm love and grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
God, I want to create a household of faith to all my father's children, to Pastor Barnes, First Lady Barnes, all the bishop pastors, to my husband, everyone in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Truly, God is amazing. He is amazing. Some say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I love to think. Praise God, because you cannot praise him if you don't think. Praise God. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus, the song said, and all that he has done for me. See, I don't know about you, but I'm talking about me, 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 me. My soul. The inner man. Hey, glory to God. I said, the inner man cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Who could it be but Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we were dogs and sorcerers. Yes, yes. When we were no good. But look what Jesus did. Yes. Look what Jesus did. Amen. Oh, praise God. He's worthy to be praised. And I'm so glad it's been years I haven't been in Albany. But I'm so glad tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I made it a special night to be here tonight. Amen. I worked. I came home and I Got a little sleep, but I had it made up in my mind Praise to be here. Amen, amen. And when I came through the door and hear the songs, the praise, the worship, I was so blessed. I was so blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Truly, yes. there is a bomb in Gilead. Praise the Lord. Truly, yes. truly, yes. truly, Hallelujah. truly, there is a bomb. So tonight, Thank you, as Jesus. the first one they said, don't get cute. Amen. Don't look cute. There's no more time for cuteness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In the Praise house. The, the, the house is a restorer. Praise, the Praise God. The house, hallelujah, Amen. is a hospital. Yes. Yes. Praise yes. God. You see, yes. when you see, I'm a nurse administrator. So when you get to the, to the hospital, there's so many different departments. Amen. Some people come for blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. Some come for pain. Some come for so many different things. So is the church. Amen. Praise God. That Praise can meet all the needs of God's people. Hallelujah. Set, turn your cups up to receive Amen. tonight. Amen. Of the blessings of the Lord. Amen. That you will not leave as you came. Amen. Bound. Amen. But you will be loosed as you walk through the door. Amen. And Amen. you can say, surely it was good for me. To be here. God bless you tonight. Amen. In Jesus' Praise name. The Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Brown, praise the Lord. Greet the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord, everyone? Shall we praise the Lord? God is a good God. God is a good God. And tonight I lift him up and magnify his name. I just want to greet Elder Barnes and Pastor Barnes in the mighty name of Jesus and all the rest of ministers in Jesus' name. God is a good God. I remember, I'm so glad that I'm in Albany tonight. And I said to Elder Barnes, what don't happen in a year, it happened in a day. I've never been here before, but thank God I'm here tonight. And it's been, it was ordained that I'll be here tonight to Praise magnify and to lift up the name of Jesus. I remember when we turned on the, the, the road to come in, and it was a little bit dark. Deacon Brown said to me, he said, he said no church can be done, dear son. I said to him, Praise it's dark, but we're still going on. Amen. Sometime Amen. our part will look dark. Hallelujah. But guess what? We trust in Jesus Christ. So we're going to keep on track. So when we come down and him really see the church, is the church really down here, so <laughs> People of God, Hallelujah. the part we get dark. And but stay on track. Hold on to your feet. And you hear what Paul said. He said, when we have feet, it don't work by itself. We need to be obedient. Yes. Faith and obedience. Hallelujah. So when we have Hallelujah. that, we can say, hence, therefore, is laid up for me a crown of Thank righteousness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Come on, give the Lord the praise of the house. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Church is down here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glad to have Ella Buckley and his wife walking in. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This time I'm going to hear from Bishop Harrison. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Lift your hands together and give God a praise. He who is the reason for our living, lift your hands and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Whatever, wherever you are from tonight, Albany, praise him. Hartford, New Jersey, Connecticut. Lift your hands that you are here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No sickness, no accident on the highway. Hallelujah. Is our Hallelujah. duty yes. to give praise. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are here tonight to worship. I leave my house worshiping. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't really come here uh, to search for worship. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It, 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 don't, it don't make sense for yes, me sir. to leave my house not worshiping Hallelujah. coming here to search for worship for worship is in me the God of all grace who came in this world Hallelujah. and his purpose coming here is to be in me and us Live in us when we give him that option to do so. Because although God made us, he gave us our will of choice. You want to serve him, you serve him. If you don't want to, that's your business. But one thing I can tell us tonight, that he made a preparation for every one of us. If you miss heaven, you are not late. No, 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 you are not late. You're just in time for hell. Praise the Lord. So, my advice to you tonight choose ye this day, don't come here and make a lot of noise. And you know you're not living right. It don't make sense. Drive from different places to be here. M making a lot of noise. And you know that your heart is not right with God. Hallelujah. Look, too much polished words. Yes, sir. He's in Pentecost these days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the original. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You don't get it. The original yes, sir. oneness. Yes. Born again. Yes. Sanctified. Yes. Holy life. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not being maintained Thank you, Jesus. by us. And some of us as pastor, we to be blamed. We know better. But we're not doing it. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. I, um, I hear everybody say that they, they come for a word. So where is the word that you have? Amen. What the preacher Hallelujah. is going to do for us to, tonight is enlighten Amen. what is already Praise there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Nothing fresh. Yes. No new word. Hallelujah. For the word is in us. Yes, sir. 
Jesus say that. Thank you. Jesus. I am the word. I am the light. Yes, yes. I am the way. I am truth. Jesus, yes. What more do you want? He's everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what do you come tonight to do? Praise He's drawing Lord. together. Yes, sir. To explore. Yes, sir. What the is word. in the inside? The word of God. Yes. And somebody said tonight, if you have a service, the service is, des is designed for healing. Amen. Sorry, my brother. <laughs> the service designed for healing. Amen. Deliverance. Yes, Not to look cute. Praise him. Amen. And I would to God somebody tonight that have a pain in their chest. Pain in their head. Pain in their knees and different places of their body. Before the end of this service. Receive your healing. But the healer is here. Amen. By the way, the healer is in you. Who is seeking for healing. But hear what he said. Faith without work is dead. So just claim a little faith. Praise the Lord. And hold it. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I, 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 I sorry. Elder Bonds, my good friend. Amen, amen. I know this man over 40 years. Amen. When I used to drove to Long Bay, he was a younger man to me. And I, I, I did enjoy me coming there. Amen, amen. As a businessman, when I drove to Long Bay, I always need to get some rest. So they always find a place to give me some rest. Amen. His beautiful wife. She just sit there, while I sit there, she said, my daddy are here. And, and that is true. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Elder Bonds. They said I'm a bishop, but I'm Brother Harrison. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 40 years ago, you know me. I don't change nothing. I am the same person. That you're looking on tonight. I believe in holiness. I don't love people playing games in church. No. Praise the Lord. And I don't want to start, so let me give the mic. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to take one more. Ella Buckley. Just greet the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I want to greet everyone in the wonderful name of Jesus. Thanking God for his mercy, his grace, for protection on the busy highway. To bring us here tonight safe in his arms. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save. Then the songwriter, he went on, he says, I was born in the country, raised on a farm, no money, no fancy home and car, but thank God. Praise the Lord. That he raised me up. Hallelujah. To praise his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hear Pastor Harris mention about Long Bay. And not just because I'm from Long Bay also. But for someone to mention Long Bay. That means it's years ago. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And... The stuff that we left in Long Bay is still here. And the stuff that we receive 
in Long Bay is still in us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Stand upon your feet and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The time is going. Praise the Lord. At this time, we're going to collect up our offering. Praise the Lord. I know you come with an offering in the house. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Some of you may be the first time you come in here. Some is not the first. Praise the Lord. But we, praise the Lord, have it in mind to get our home building soon. Praise the Lord. And we believe God. Praise the Lord. We believe God is going to happen. Praise the Lord. But we need your support. Praise the Lord. So I'm not going to put any limit on what you come in the house with. God already knows before you, you come out of your house how much you, you, you come with and how much you're going to give. Praise the Lord. And if you come with $100 and you give 50 God will charge you. Because you know you didn't have it in your mind to give 100 So this I'm going to ask our deacon, Bernard, praise the Lord. To just stand right here and those with an offering, praise the Lord, will come up, praise the Lord Jesus. And we, um, we have a team song, praise the Lord Jesus. If you know it, just sing it with us, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we just go from the back bench, come up, praise the Lord. And we're going to collect our offering at this time, praise the Lord. And just follow... Um, the leading, praise the Lord, to come up, praise the Lord. We're going to sing this theme song, and if you know it, just sing it with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're in the back of the Lord and right, keep on the fiery line. If you win, my brother, you will surely fight. Keep on the fiery line. Fight, be brave, fight, be brave, fight, be brave, 
you to go back in your pocket. Praise the Lord. We'll call it a speaker offering. Praise the Lord. It's coming from far. Praise the Lord. Whatever you, the Lord lay it on your heart at this time. Praise the Lord. Just give it in Jesus' name. You could walk up with it. Praise the Lord. You could come up with it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. God never change. God never change. God never changed. God never changed. That's it. offering in Jesus name praise the Lord Hallelujah. praise, praise the Lord everybody Hallelujah. praise the Lord father Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth our God and our King our Thank provider you. our deliverer father I give you thanks tonight oh God for this offering oh God we Hallelujah. ask that you will bless each and everyone oh God who stretch forth their hands oh God bless this offering oh God so we will continue your work and here on earth in Jesus name we pray Hallelujah. amen Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. praise the Lord praise the Lord then this is my story. Praise is my song. Praise him, my Savior. Oh, a day long. This is my story. Oh. My 
Jesus keep standing. Praise the Lord. I will turn over to Ella Barnes and he will put on the speaker. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Ella Barnes. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I, I wish I could do like Joshua tonight. Sun don't move. I wish I could stop the night. And lengthen the time. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Then we'd have a little more time to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm so happy to be in an atmosphere like this. And if you listen to El, uh, to Bishop Harris tonight, and you listen to Elder Buckley, we have been in many atmosphere like this over the years. So we know what we're talking about here. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm happy to have with us a young man to speak to us tonight, to spread the table. Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, I was with Pastor Ratcliffe in New Jersey the other, a few weeks ago. And this young man was a preacher there. We did enjoy him. And that night, he was sitting down in the congregation. I couldn't even realize him. But tonight, he's right beside me. He can't miss tonight. Praise the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Pastor Duane Thompson out of New Jersey. A flaming sword of the Lord will speak to us tonight as he's led by the Spirit of God. And we give God thanks for him. Praise the name of the Lord, everybody. Give God a praise in this house. Praise God. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Praise God. I have the most difficult task of everybody in the house tonight. Praise God, but Praise I thank name. God tonight for his love. His love that passeth all understanding. If it had not been for his love, I would not be here tonight. To Pastor Barnes, many years, many, many years, I've known him. 
I've preached in this service few church before, a few times. And the brethren here at Cornerstone, to Evangelist Barnes, and all the, the brethren that work along with them in this side of the vineyard, Amen. I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God to Bishop Harrison. When I was growing up in Brownstown, he was one of the men that we, as children, used to be afraid of because of the look that's on his face. And he still have the same look. <laughs> Greetings, sir. Praise God and all the brethren that came along with him. Dave, I call him Dave. The Palmers. There's a few of them in the house. Sister Jenny, Brother Nigel. You know Dale Palmer. <laughs> to my wife of almost 20 years. May will be 20 years. I thank God for her. Glory, man. I thank God for her. You don't understand, brethren. I always hear people and bishops and pastors say, thank God that I got a wife and not a knife. And I understand why they said that. Because in order to be effective in ministry, you need a wife that prays you up, that encourages you. And for almost 20 years, she has been standing by me. She has been supporting me. She's been praying for me. When I leave the house, she start praying. I thank God for her. Praise God. Evangelist Michelle Thompson. God bless you. God bless you. And to the brethren that came along with me, Minister Killenbeck, Missionary Finn, and the rest of the brethren that traveled with me tonight, I greet you and the entire household of faith. Please accept greetings. The pastors, officers, praise God. I know daily, daylight savings time starts in about five hours. So to me, it's already 10 o'clock. Praise God. And I have a two plus hour drive to get back to New Jersey. But I want to thank God tonight. Praise God for all that has been said in this house. If you have not gotten anything yet, maybe you just need to open the door. Because the Lord has spoken in this house already. But there's something that while I was seeking the Lord, I'm not going to stray from your topic. He dropped in my spirit late last night and I had to just jump up and write it in a book that I had next to the bed. Praise God. Simply say chosen to finish. Praise God. It's one thing to run a race. It's another thing to finish the race. Praise God. Just stand with me one more time. Let me just put this into God's hand. Father, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, everything is yours, God. My lips belong to you, God. My entire being belongs to you. In the name of Jesus, your people, God, need a word from you tonight. God, I pray for revelation tonight. God, I pray that you may enlighten us, quicken us, God. Speak, oh God, take control of my tongue and my mind, God Almighty. Speak from heaven, we need to hear from you. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Just Lift your hand and give God a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. 2 Timothy chapter 4. Praise God. 2 Timothy, Timothy sorry, chapter 4. And I will just do one verse. Verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. 
That's Paul's testimony. Where is yours? Praise God. I thank God tonight. While I was coming up and I was just meditating on the word, just asking God, what and what direction, where do you want to take us tonight as a people? Because most times we, we have a, 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 a topic and we try to stick with the topic even though God wants to shift course a little bit. Praise God. And while I was looking at it, you know, the thought that he dropped in my spirit, chosen to finish, he, he started to take me through the Bible and he started at Genesis. And it started at Adam. He said, I, I, I chose Adam to finish. But even though Adam messed up along the way, he still finished what I chose him to do. And what we have to understand as brethren, that life is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And if we are going to partake in this marathon, we have to be physically equipped to run this race. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. We have to understand that we are going to falter at times, Elder Barnes. I hear your testimony and I hear Bishop's testimony. But the truth be told, brethren, it doesn't matter how long you're in the church, you're going to come across some obstacles. You're going to come across some stumbling block. You're going to come across some pitfalls. You're going to come across some stuff that make you want to throw in the towel. But because God has chosen me to finish this race. Because he has chosen me to endure to the end. Praise God when the stumbling block comes in my way. I recognize that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Oh praise the name of Jesus. So because I am called and I am chosen to finish this race. It means now that when the enemy comes comes upon me I am going to have to learn to develop some tenacity I am going to have to learn to develop some fortitude I'm going to have to learn to develop some endurance if I'm going to finish this thing oh God praise the name of Jesus understand understand brethren how do I know that Abraham Adam uh, uh, finished his course or finished the race because the Bible said he started to give sacrifice again he started to worship again and any time that we are running the race uh, and we don't involve praise and worship I got some news for you you have already fallen out of the race but I thank God tonight. I still got to praise. Oh God Almighty. I still got to worship coming from down inside of me. That even though Brother Dave, situation at times don't look like they're going to work out. There is a praise in my heart. There is a praise coming down from the innermost part. It's not a polished praise, but it's a praise that when it's echoed into the atmosphere, heaven, oh God, gains attention. It's a praise that God said, one of my child is crying unto me. So I have to now recognize, brethren, when you look at the life of Abraham God chose him out of Ur of the Chaldees brought him into a land my God where he didn't know where he was going. Abraham messed up. Oh yes if you read your Bible he messed up he lied. My God Almighty. But there came a time when Abraham found himself just worshipping the Almighty God. The Bible said now I know that you fear God seeing that you have not withheld your only begotten 
begotten son from me. Oh God, I want us to understand, brethren, you are going to fail sometimes, but because you are chosen to finish, my God, you have to learn to endure hardship like a good soldier. Paul looked at it and he encouraged the young Timothy. He said, Timothy, listen, listen. Grievous wolves are going to come in after my departure. Listen, they're already here, brother. They sit next to you on the choir. Oh, they're in the ministerial room with you. Grievous wolf. But I thank be to God tonight that I have been chosen. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish strong. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because he called me. He separated me from my mother's womb. Come on, Jeremiah. I know you got some hiccups. I know you got some doubts. I know you got some problems, Jeremiah. But understand, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I ordained you. I sanctified you. I called you to be a prophet. I called you to finish the race. I chose chose you Jeremiah out of all the people that were around I chose you God chose me that's why I have to run the race because ladies and gentlemen we get high when the Olympics uh, is running uh, and there's always a competition between Jamaica and the United States uh, and it's special when it comes on to relay and there's sometimes they choose or uh, uh, let's use him as uh, a power uh, and the fact of the matter is he can't finish the race uh, but when God chose you when God called you when it pleased God uh, to separate you from your mother's womb. He knew you were able to finish the course. He knew. So when you're running the race now, oh God, when you're trained for a marathon, Oh God, when you're training now, you don't do uh -huh, you do endurance training. So the things you do for sprinting don't really matter. You have to do a long distance. You gotta develop uh, some fortitude. You gotta learn to push through the cramps. You have to learn to push through the fatigue. Uh, if you don't understand how you do that, uh, go over into the book of Hebrews uh, when it talks about uh, we are in compassion about uh, with so great a cloud of witness uh, let me hold on to Abraham's tail uh, because Abraham made it uh, in spite of what he was going through come on Jacob I know you're a supplanter but I'm going to change uh, the course of your nature and I'm going to make you a prince yeah. I am chosen to finish so because now uh, 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 we, we have to understand uh, Ella Barnes, uh, we have the anchor leg. And because we have the anchor leg, we can't drop the button. We might get it last. But we have to finish. Oh, it doesn't matter how leg one run this anchor. It doesn't matter how two or three run the race. If you get the baton at the last, your job is to finish the card and cross the line. It doesn't matter who finished before you. Your responsibility is to cross the finish line. Come on, Jacob. I know, Jacob. Come on, J Jacob. I know you got some issues. But, Jacob, I want you to recognize that out of you is going to come 12 tribes. And out of you is going to come Judah. And out of Judah is going to come the Messiah. Oh, God Almighty. Out of you is going to come the lawgiver. Out of you is going to come deliverance. The reason why we are running the race is not just only for us, but there 
there is somebody coming up behind us uh, that is focused on us. Uh, oh God Almighty, understand something, ladies and gentlemen, tonight uh, when you're running a race uh, and somebody is before you, my God, in the natural, uh, your job is to catch and pass uh, that individual. Uh, not so in the church. Uh, our job in the church uh, is to cross the finish line. We want to kill each other. I, you know, I should be preaching. I should be the evangelist. I should be this and that. Not focusing on the task that is at hand. But when you're running a race, uh, my wife used to run, and there's some runners in here. When you're running a race and you put your head down, you come out of the block and you're so focused and you're looking straight ahead. Your aim and your desire is to cross that finish line. My God, you have some uh, hamstring pull, but you're still hobbling on the way to the finish line. I don't care how I get into heaven as long as I get into heaven. Oh God Almighty, you might want to get in with a big shout if I have to crawl across the, the finish line. I'm going to finish the race. Oh God. A marathon runner trains his body and her body rigorously so he or she when they get to mile marker number 15 and they recognize that there's about nine more miles to go or so they have to just dig deep and said listen for all the months that I've denied myself uh, oh God almighty thank you Jesus uh, the reason why we have so much problems uh, in the church the apostolic church uh, oh God it's cause people don't want to deny uh, themselves anymore to run the race uh, oh praise the name of Jesus uh, but in the natural uh, my God the marathon run up here him or herself uh, and they get down in the morning they eat right they put the right nutrients in their body oh god they do what is necessary to be in tip top shape for the race because they must finish it the thing you know in the natural one man receive the price thank god it's not so in the spiritual but every one of us that finish there is laid up for us a crown of life mighty god of daniel there is a laid up for us a crown a crown all I got to do is finish we are worried about everybody else who cares I, I got to finish this race you weren't there when God called me you weren't there when he separated me from my mother's womb you weren't there when I was one of the statistics you weren't there when I was earmarked for hell but he snatched me as a branch from the burning so I have to finish the race I'm gonna have to jump over some hurdles oh god I'm gonna have to dodge some people along the way but whatever it takes To finish. I got to finish the race. The aim is not just to run. The aim is to finish. I was watching something earlier today. I don't know why it just grabbed my attention. It happened sometime in 1968. I wasn't even born yet. The guy was running the marathon and he looked like he sprained an ankle and a knee and hamstring. When I looked at this one of his legs, he had it bandaged up all or below and above the knee and he was just limping. But he was heading towards the finish line. If you got a limb to the finish line, limb to the finish line. It doesn't matter what you have to do tonight. If you got to make it in and you have to limp, limp. 
nobody else was on the track but here is this one man just limping towards the finish line brethren he did not stop until he crossed the finish line we have to understand it's they that endure to the end shall be saved you know, yes, God called you. God anointed you and you have preached. You have raised the dead. You have healed the sick. My God, when they look at you, they, they can just crown you right now. But if you don't finish, you're going to hell. Amen. Didn't I preach in your name? Didn't I cast out devils in your name? Deny heal the sick in your name. Depart from me. I know you're not because they did not finish the race. I don't know you. What a horrible thing to hear. On the day, my God, when we think we're going to receive a crown of life. We hear, depart from me. But I passed her for 50 years. But, 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 but Lord, didn't I do that? I don't know you. Paul said, you did run well. But, but who hinder you from finish? Paul said, listen, I have many occasions to turn my back on this thing. Because a night and a day I was in the deep. I was pummeled by stone and left to dead. I was let down by a string, a bucket, through a wall. My God, I've been persecuted above measure. Oh God, I've been talked about by my own countrymen. But when he came to it and he's sitting in the jail, ready to face Nero chopping block. Paul reflect. Paul said, I fought a good fight. Oh God Almighty, I have finished my course. Along the course, there were some hurdles. But I finished. I fell down, but I got up. I finished. So henceforth is laid up for me a crown of life. Mighty God, thank you, Jesus. This thing is not as easy or as difficult as we make it to be. Evangelist Palmer, our problem is we are too self-reliant on this. And not on the God that's in us. If the God that is in us and we are depending on him, we don't have to worry about anything. Come on, Jehoshaphat. You don't need to fight in this thing. You don't have to do anything. Jehoshaphat, as a matter of fact, this is what I want you to do. Keep the boys with the long sword at the back. I just want you to send some boys that know how to praise me. Send the people with the timbrel. Send the people with the guitar. Send the people that know how to make some noise unto their God. Send them ahead. And when they did, did that, God finish it. I am not worried about what people want to do or say, Elder Beckley. You know why? God proved to me that he's with me. It doesn't matter what you think, you know. If God has already proven that he's with me, that he said, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So even though I'm running and I get a little fatigue, the rod and the staff is there. Come on, Dwayne, you can make it. You, you, girl, come on. Greater is he that is in you. You are an overcomer. You are victorious. You are more than a conqueror. That's what the word of God tells us. And if I'm more than a conqueror, I dare you to stand in my way. I'm going to run through you because I have to get to the finish line.
David said, I, I can leap over a wall, you know, and, and, and I can run through a troop. Yeah. Asa looked at it and he said, oh my God, I'm running this race now, but God knows I'm tired. And he said, when he looked at it, he, he, his feet well nigh slip. And then he just took the time to drag himself into the house of the Lord. And when he went into the house of the Lord, he said, now I know, I know, I know, understand their end. And if you're chosen to win, all you have to do is keep moving forward. That's all. As long as we keep moving forward, God will do the rest for us. So there is some brush brush in the way that needs to be clear. God will just go ahead before you. That's why he said, I you prepare a table before you in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. My cup run it over. When you're running this race for God, don't worry about tomorrow. He knows about tomorrow. He's in control of tomorrow. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. He got this in his hand. The writer looked at it and he said, in his hand he got the whole wide world. In his hand he got the whole wide world. He got you and me, brother. So the God that we serve, as long as we are running the race and stay on course, he will. Come on and praise the name of the Lord. He will. My God Almighty, He will, He will. Oh God, so our aim now, brethren, is to, to, to finish and finish strong. If we testify, I'm not talking about you, I'm not talking about if we testify of some of the things that we felt, not trip, there's a difference. If we testify about some of the things that we fell for and in, you'll understand why we're so determined to finish the race. Because we got a second chance. If you have never sinned, don't worry about it. God bless you. God bless you. But for those of us who have tripped on our faces and got up and continue to run the race because we're determined to finish. None of us is perfect. None of us. I don't know of any perfect man. In my body, Paul says, dwell it no good thing. He said, when, when I try to do good, evil is presenting itself. So he looks at it and says, oh, wretched man that I am. But the same Paul, when hearing the ox shortening, when hearing the gallows being prepared to take his head, Paul said, I have fought a good fight. Oh, God Almighty, how many of us uh, can be facing certain death? Paul knew that God wasn't going to deliver him out of this one. He knew Derek Nero was about to take his head. It's not like when he was in the prison and he was singing praise at midnight and God caused the earth to shift out of position. And cause the jail to open up on its own accord. And even cause the people to be saved through that experience. It wasn't like that. I assure you Paul was singing praises again. Because that's how we are as believers. When God do something for us. We have a tendency of revisiting how we did it. But God want to do something else. So he was singing. My, 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 Jesus is mine. Mine when I'm weary, mine when I'm dreary, mine, mine, mine. Uh, Jesus is mine. Uh, Jesus alone is mine. And he still heard the axe. 
being shocked. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes. There is a particular sound. I grew up in the country. So before we had an uh, uh, electric stove or gas, Gr my great grandmother didn't like using those things. She was born in 1908, so she's old school. She never drove in a car till the very day she died. That's the only day she went in a vehicle when they took her to the, 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 the house to prepare her body for burial. So she loved to cook with wood. So we had to go out and, and, and get wood, and she loves pimento wood because it makes a certain sound and it, it brings a certain flavor to the food. Huh? So Paul, I know the sound of when you have an instrument that is being sharpened against the stone. When they turn in the stone and the blade is gashing some sparks of, Paul was knowing he knew all of this he knew what was coming to him and even then I have fought a good fight you know you have run well when you're facing imminent death and you still can encourage the brethren to keep pressing to keep fighting you know you're running well when they're talking about you, you need a ride, brother. Yes. Do you need a lift, my sister? You know you're running well. When your enemy hungry and you still feed them. Easy to tell if you're running well, you know. When you're doing what the Lord tells you to do. In spite of. Paul says, my heart desire is that all of Israel be saved. And it was the same Israel that stoned him and left him for dead. It's the same Israel that vowed a vow. We will not eat for 40 days until we, if we don't kill this man, something wrong. My heart's desire is that you be saved. You're running well. I'm closing, brethren. Understand something tonight. You're chosen to finish. Outside of Judas, and even Judas' end could have been avoided if he could find a place of repentance because God forgave him. We are not chosen to fail. Okay, let's go into Deuteronomy. You, you're going to be the head and not the tail. You're going to be above and not beneath. You're going to be a lender and not a borrower. Because the borrower, the Bible says, is subjected to the lender. So we are called to finish. We are called to endure to the end. Come on, Peter. Jesus, anywhere you go, I'm going to go with you. Even until death. The Lord looked at Peter and said, Peter, you know something? You know, before the cock crow three times tonight, you're going to deny me. Before the cock crowing up, Peter, you, you're, you're going to say, no, I, I don't even know this man. You look like I've seen you. You look like a Pentecostal. What are you talking about? You go to that apostolic church. Who are you talking to? I know your, your speech betrayed. I don't know the man. But in spite of Peter tripping, in spite of what Peter went through, on the day of Pentecost, when 3,000 men were gathered, and don't think for a second that it wasn't way more than that, because they didn't include the women and the children. Because they all heard them speak. Peter said, listen, we not drink no Ray and nephew at this time of the morning. 
this is no Hennessy that we are drinking so early in the morning. But this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. That in the last day said God, I'm going to pour out my spirit. When you run the race to finish, God is going to give you an extra boost. All right. To the finish line. You ever heard of a second wind? When you're running, I'm not a runner, but I've been training. I've been trying to lose some fat, so, you know, I've been doing some weights and some stuff like that. And I remember my trainer working me one day till I, I couldn't even get up off the floor. And I got up off the floor for my next exercise. And I don't know where it came from. But I just started to throw the weights up like it was nothing. And he's, he says, hey, you got your second win. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You got your second win. And I'm just going. and go. That's how it is now. We need a second win to cross the finish line. So God is getting ready to pour out. Why you think he said he will pour out his spirit in the last days upon our flesh? The days that we are living in, if we don't get an extra door, you're not making it in. That's why, Brother Nigel, every now and then we go back to filling station. Because we want to make our destination. Oh, thank God. I, I must make heaven my home. I must make heaven my home. So I keep going back to the well of grace. The greater the power, the sweeter the taste. When temptation comes my way, I keep going back to the well. I keep going back to the well of grace oh god the greater the power the sweeter the taste when temptation comes my way i keep going back because i need to finish well god bless you tonight stand to your feet in this house i don't know what you came in this house or what problems you came listen the brother said whatever problems you came in with leave it here i got don't leave it on the barns leave it at the altar leave it at the altar you did run well why are you letting them hinder you god called you for his purpose why are you letting them stop you from doing what you're called to do that which you were chosen to do. Why is it that you are allowing them to stop you? That's my question for us tonight. You did run well. It's going to be a horrible day. Depart from me. I don't know you. I don't know, who, I don't know you. Who are you? It's an insult, Pastor Brown. When you walk up to somebody that you know, and you know the person know you, but because of where they are, say, I don't know you. Who are you? You want to sink down into a hole. God has chosen us to finish. Read the Hall of Faith, as we call it. Barack. Wasn't it Barack that said, I'm not going? If Deborah, if you don't come with me, I ain't going. That was him. Don't mention Samson. Don't even, before the, the term Playboy came around, that was Samson. He's the original Playboy. He coined the term. But he was in the Hall of Faith. So many men and women that finished the course, they weren't perfect, but they stayed on course. They stayed on the track. The only time you're disqualified is when you go off course. When you're running, if you run out of your lane, you're disqualified. 
If you come off the track, you're disqualified. This is a race that it doesn't matter if you, your running time or your speed is 9.67 or 20.99 or two days. Just finish the race. If you have to hobble across the finish line, finish the race. This altar is open before I turn the mic back over. I don't know what you came here to hear but you're chosen to finish come on Timothy I'm just encouraging you grievous wolves are coming they're already here what why are you allowing people and the farmer I don't understand if God pulled me out of the Mary clay when you weren't around and, and he's provided for me. And he's opened door for me. Why do you think I'm going to let one little word you say deter me from finishing the course? Finish strong, brethren. We are at the end of this dispensation. We are at the close of this dispensation. The coming of the Lord is near. It's closer than we have ever think finish the race because you have been chosen to do so god bless you back to pastor barnes in jesus praise the name of the lord Praise the name of the Lord. He said it right when he started. He said for one to say what the Lord wants you to say. Sometimes you have to dive right and look from the, the topic. Praise the Lord. For us to say what the Lord wants us to say to the people, yes. we have to divert from the topic sometimes. Yes. This diversion was exactly what the Lord wants us to hear. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He could not have said it any other way. He said it right. Chosen to finish. And when I look back at two words, three words, foreknown, predestinated, called, justified. You ever heard those words before? That's what he was talking about. You were ordained before you were born to run this race and finish it. Yeah. And somebody's behind looking at you to follow you. Yeah. That's why when the Bible said shun the very appearance of evil. It never said it is evil, you know. He said, if it look like evil, shun it because somebody's behind you watching you. Yes. And when you shun the very appearance of evil, you know what the Lord did to you? He sanctify you holy. How many people want to be sanctified today? <laughs> How many people want to be sanctified? Hallelujah. Holy. Praise the Lord Jesus. So he said, Don't listen to what people say. Don't let them detour you from what you know. Praise the Lord. If you want to finish the race, you have to shun the very appearance of evil. Don't try to get too close to it. Because somebody's watching you. And you don't want to be a stumbling block 
in anybody's way. So run with the understanding. Run with the knowledge. Run with wisdom. Run with humbleness. Run with gentleness. Run with meekness. Run with long suffering. How much does us know how to be patient in tribulation? We want to run out of the race when tribulation comes. We want to dive, we want to take, I exit. <laughs> but be patient in tribulation and continue to pray. That's how the journey is set up. Brethren, we have heard so much tonight. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everyone that is in this place have yes, heard something to take home with yes, us. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I always said that service like this is not only for unsafe people. It's not only for the people that is not yet saved. It is for our safe people also. Because when there is no such as should be saved in the group, nobody can be saved. For the Lord will add to the church daily the such as should be saved. If no such as be saved is in here tonight, nobody's going to be saved. But somebody can be healed, delivered, set free from so many things. But when we come together in this fashion, as Elder, Elder said before, he said, when you come, you must come expecting something. If you are sick, expect to be touched. Expect to be delivered. Because that is what the church is for. Praise the Lord Jesus. That's what the church is for. It's for the healing of the sick, casting out of devils, breaking chains, and all the things that bug us in life. That's what the church is for, to deliver us from them. Praise the Lord. So if there's one that is not yet saved, it's your time. Rapture can be here any moment now. The church is about to lift up out of this world. The bride is, already, is about ready to go to honeymoon. A thousand here with the Lord. That's why we are here. The bride will be reigning with his groom, Jesus Christ, for a thousand years. And some people talk about tribulation. You don't business with that. Your business with get ready to be in the rapture. It is coming. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's not something that is past. It's something that is coming. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangels. And with the trump of God, Ever and the dead in Christ shall rise first, rise and those that are alive 
life and remain in Christ shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Are you ready? It's coming, brethren. No man know the meaning of the hour. When the Son of Man shall put in his appearing. Not even the angels in heaven. Be my Are you ready? You want to walk up to the altar before it's too late? My raptured soul Anyone need prayer? Walk up to the altar. We have the brethren here to pray for you. If you're sick, if you have a problem, just walk up to the altar. You can't afford to be in a service like this and go out just as you came. The bomb in Gilead. The God in Israel is here.
Coming down, 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 it's coming down. When the glory of the Lord is coming down, 
For when the saints began to pray, and the Lord shall have his way, and the glory of the Lord coming down. It's coming down, down, down. It's coming down. Yes, Lord. And when the glory of the Lord coming down, hallelujah. When the saints began to pray, and the Lord shall have his way. so that you can fly praise the Lord on wings of love I'll fly away praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord what a wonderful night what a wonderful feeling Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Just bow your head everywhere. We're going to give God thanks for his presence with us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks for tonight. We thank you for your children coming from near and far to be with us tonight to lift you up. We thank you for the praises that has gone up to you. We look forward for the blessing that is coming down. Thank you for the preacher. Thank you for the word. Thank you for inspiring him tonight to bless your children. 
Remember those that take the journey home over the roads. Be with them. Be their guide. Be the driver of their vehicle. Take them home safely. Bless each and every one in a special way. That make the effort to be here tonight. Father, we thank you for your presence. If you wasn't here, we wouldn't not feel how we feel. We thank you for being the unseen guest in our midst. Go before now. Fly the traps and snares set by the enemy. And take your children through to complete victory. These be prayer and ask and wait for the victory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. We unraise. And now may the saving grace, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, the Father, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the rest remain on the Bible with us all, henceforth until you come. And all your children say, amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you everywhere. Refreshment in the back. Get something and you're